where did that even why am I constantly being hit in the head by these boxes? I'm just trying to do an unboxing video and I I just get hit in the head instead. <laughs> Like it might be some grip tape because I forgot to order it with my vault order and had to place another order. So now I have another box to open and this should be just some grip tape. So welcome back. Today is a grip tape unboxing. Pretty excited because grip tape's one of my favorite scooter parts because of how creative you can be with it. Grip tape can be expensive and I haven't really done much of a custom grip tape job. Like I can apply my own grip tape, but it's, it's not like I get multiple sheets of grip tape and then like combine them in a way that they'll, uh, you know, stick together and make a cool design. It's just gonna be one sheet of grip tape so I can just apply it on my scooter and call it good. Basically, that's all I got and that's what I'm expecting to be in this box. So we might as well get straight into the unboxing. I got the same knife as last video and I'm not gonna be a dummy and try and decide like what is the best way to open this box. There's really only one way to open a box. Not that I was being much of a dummy in the last video, but at least I could have known how to open a box like a normal person. And not like some guy who's living under a rock. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about this too. Not as excited as I was with the protos because I actually did not know which protos I would be getting. So it was a lot more hyped up than this might be because I know what I ordered and I know what I'm already gonna be getting. But it's still pretty exciting whenever you get new scooter parts because it's like a fresh start. Anyway, inside, you can't see it yet. Anyway, you can't see it quite yet. Got the grip tape. I'm gonna cut the tape. And then I will reveal what the grip tape is. Looks like they threw in a sticker sheet. That's pretty nice. Similar to Proto, they threw in some stickers too. Okay, here it is. Some black. All right. And as you can see, this is very wide grip tape. I'm pretty sure it's seven by 21 grip tape. And it is the lit undialed grip tape. It's one of their new grip tapes. I was just sore in the vaults website. And then I, I found that undialed had like a bunch of new grip tapes. Current time of recording this, none of them have sold out. This is the one I got. Similar to these wheels, it is a pretty subtle, um, option as far as grip tape goes. As you probably know, there are many different kinds of very loud and unique grip tape design. I went for a more uh, subtle approach to my grip tape and got one of the more simple undialed grip tapes as they also have some very loud and unique grip tape design. I'm very satisfied with this. I did not expect the logo to look that small, but it's, it's there and that's what counts. I'm super excited to put yet another sheet of undialed grip tape on my scooter. As you might know, uh, before re-gripping my current scooter to friendly grip tape, I actually had some undialed, it was basically black letters on a white background and then the white like dripped down into where the wheel goes. I'm excited to have this, yet another sheet of undialed grip tape. It's pretty nice, not the grittiest stuff, but I'm sure it'll do the job just fine. Looking forward to applying this grip tape. Here's the grip tape on my current scooter. Like I said, I, um, used to have undialed grip tape on here, but I changed it to friendly grip tape because the undialed stuff got worn out. And as you can see, this is pretty worn out. Since I got a new deck, I won't be putting this new grip tape on here. Maybe in the future, I'll consider re-gripping this deck because I'm actually planning on keeping this scooter around as like a backup scooter. If I ever decide to ride something that's a little shorter, a little more agile. This is the current grip tape I've been riding. It's done quite, quite a good job. 
I, I wouldn't say it, it's like much better than the undialed grip tape. There is a difference in grip tapes, like depending on what you like to ride, but overall, every kind of grip tape will get the job done. Like I got some grip tape off Amazon like a couple years ago to put on my Fusion scooter. It didn't do that bad either, except there are better options. And I would definitely recommend uh, something like this or you know undialed is fine that's the new grip tape that i'm going to be riding on my new scooter again not really the most exciting part of this new scooter build i just wanted to unbox this alone because it, it did come in its own box and it is pretty exciting because grip tape could be about anything again i am just getting into the swing of things with this build like last unboxing video it was basically just one part of the scooter that i was unboxing and here we are again with just one more part, but I'm telling you in the next unboxing video, things are gonna get wilder and crazier because it's gonna be an unboxing of multiple different parts and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So I'd recommend subscribing so that you can see what more parts I get for this new custom scooter and eventually for the build video that I'll be doing with all my new parts to create the new custom scooter. So I guess I'll see you guys there.